Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be changing my oil on my 2022 Ford Maverick and I'm also going to be installing the Fumoto oil drain valve. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. All right guys, I'm sure y'all y'all know this already, but we have these uh we have this shield plate underneath the FX4 EcoBoost. Uh, that we need to take off before we can even get to the oil plug and drain the oil and stuff uh, So I'm gonna go ahead and remove these T bolts right here Yeah, I think we got four of them and then we have a bunch of these bolts that secure the underbelly shield So let's go ahead and begin that. So what you're gonna be needing is a impact or a drill And I got my I think this is a T30 Let's go ahead and get these nuts off All right, now you're gonna be needing a half inch socket to remove the other bolts. So let's go ahead and uh, get that going. All right guys, so as you can see, we got the uh, underbelly off. Looks nice, I like it. <laughs> Here's the uh, drain plug that we're gonna be replacing right here. Gonna be replacing this sucker today with the Fumoto. All right, let's go ahead and uh, get this drain unplugged and start draining the oil. Let's get it. All right guys, I went ahead and I cracked open the uh, oil cap in the engine. Let's get this sucker. the part that I hate doing man I freaking don't like doing this part this is my second oil change man it's pretty dark I'm at 17,000 miles, 15% oil life left on the Ford app. That's what it looks like. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and let this stuff drain completely and then I'll be back with the uh, install of the new valve. All right, Joe. Now, we just need to undo this oil filter. Let's go ahead and move the pan underneath it just in case and it should be able to come off by hand because I did it last time Gonna let this drip down into the pan. I'm trying to make 
as little of a mess as possible. Not bad. I didn't get any any spillage anywhere. Whew. And here is the uh, oil filter you're gonna be needing. FL nine one zero S. Go ahead and get you some oil. I have this one. I have a half a quart left over from my first oil change. You want to put oil around the gasket. And whenever you take off your filter, you want to make sure that the gasket from the old filter is off, which in this case it is. And then now I'm just going to hand tighten it back on. All right, new filter installed. Now for the fun part, let's go ahead and get the Fumoto oil drain plug installed. All right guys, so here is the extender right here. You're gonna need to buy if you have a Maverick because you have a recessed oil, oil drain plug space. And then here's the uh, Fumoto valve. It has this retainer clip on and uh, that way, once you get this installed, all you have to do is just turn that and the oil comes out. And I got the one with the little, with the little small nipple on the end so you can attach a hose to it whenever you um, drain the oil next time. All the parts that I have will be linked in the video description. And also, you're going to be needing a 3 4 inch wrench and a 22 millimeter wrench to install these. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this on. thought I had all the oil drained. <laughs> I guess not. All right, so now since we just have a little small drip, first step is to install the extension. Hand tighten it. All right. It's pretty hand tightened right there. And then what you want to do now is grab your 22 inch wrench and do a quarter turn. And then you want to get your Fumoto valve and install it. Hand tighten this. You want to hold the extension with the wrench so it doesn't tighten anymore. And then you want to do a quarter turn. Just like that. Let's see if we get anything out of this thing. So you have it. And of course I have a 
tube that I can stick on here for next time so it doesn't shoot out. I can kind of, you know, take control of the oil change. And then when you're done, just close the, the valve up, wipe it off, and put the clip back on. Just like so. Now it's installed. Now let's see if uh, the shield is gonna fit with the Fumoto valve on before I put oil back in. And as you can see, the shield does fit with the valve on. So now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put some oil in this thing and see if we have any leaks anywhere. All right, so the Ford Maverick calls for five and a half quarts. I got the five quart gallon right here. All right, adding in the five quarts. cap back on now let's go ahead and turn this thing on and see how it runs all right guys so i'm in my truck i'm gonna go ahead and turn it on going to go to settings vehicle oil life and reset it all right, now I'm gonna back up the truck and see if we have any leaks underneath it and check the oil level. All right, so the truck is off the uh, stand. It's on a level surface. Let's go ahead and check the oil level. We are filled up. Looks good to me. All right guys, we're back underneath the truck. Taking another look. As you can see, there's no leakage anywhere. I think we are good to go for the valve and for the oil filter. I'm not seeing any leakage anywhere. No leakage anywhere. I think we did a good job. All right, so now it's time to get this heavy uh, underbelly shield back on and uh, call, call it a wrap. All right, guys, well, that's a wrap for this video. Uh, hope you found this video helpful. Uh, the Fumoto oil valve does fit with the uh, extender. The shield went on fine. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to go ahead and leave me a comment down below. And uh, I have a list of all the parts you use in this video uh, in the description below as well. And all right, guys, I'm gonna go get some breakfast now. Uh, until next time, you all, have a good day.